trying to pose with ugly hair. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and film a smoky plum eye makeup tutorial. Everything I'm using will be listed down below. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful look for a girl's night out. And so let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Milk, which is just a great eye primer, and that's what I use. It also helps your colors be a little bit more pigmented as well. And I'm just going to blend that out so it's slightly opaque. Now I'm going to take Max Eyeshadow in Mink Pink and blend that all over the eyelid. Um, or you can use any skin tone shade that you like. Just make sure that it is matte. This is going to help prime the eye a little more. Moving on, on the lid I'm going to take Max Bruised Plum Eyeshadow. And then for the crease I'm going to apply back Black Tulip by MAC as well. And that's just more of a blue purple. And then in the outer corner, I'm going to take Jungle Moon, and that is a very dark plum matte shade, and it's, I just love this color so much. It really brings the whole color together. And I'm just going to do a little bit more blending in the crease and add some more product, and also bring back the Bruised Plum for more pigmentation, and I'm going to take the Skin Tone color um, to blend that out with, I couldn't think. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes using the Jordana Fabu Liner, which is an amazing eyeliner. Um, you can get it at Walgreens, and I think it's like $2.50, but it's really, really good. So I'm going to wing that out as well, just checking the other side to get it a little bit more precise. I'm going to go ahead and wing it out. And I'm going to take my Milani Eyeliner Pencil in True Black, which is a really great drugstore pencil eyeliner, and very, very black stays all day as well. Also going to apply that in the waterline. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes with my Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler Travel Set. I'm going to go ahead and glue on my eyelashes. I'm not sure what, which ones I'm using. It's a, it'll be linked down below, but I know I have a video review for it too. So that'll be linked. And just apply those like normal. And then I'm just letting that dry. And... Then I'm going to go over it with some black liner just to make sure that just perfect anything and hide any glue just so that it dries quick. But that's totally optional because the one I use is Duo Adhesive and it's clear. On the lower lash line I'm going to take Twisted Plum just to bring everything together. Is it Twisted Plum? No, it's Jungle Moon. Jungle Moon on, on the lower lash line. And the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator to blend in my fake with my real and my lower lash line is done too. Um, and I made a mess. So that is the finished look, you guys, and I'm going to give you four different lip options for you guys to choose from, but I hope you like the look. Super simple and easy to achieve. For the lips, the first one I'm going to show you is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Blush, which I absolutely love, and it's just great to pair it with this because the eyes are so pow, but if you want a little bit more bam, then, you know. I'll have another option for you. And then if you don't like matte lips, go over it with a gloss. The one I'm using is Marvelous Moxie in Scene Stealer, which is beautiful, and I love their glosses. They look wet, which is perfect. For the other lip option, I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the Too Faced Perfect Nude Lips Lip Liner and just line my lips. Super simple and super easy. I just always use this for this lip color because it just works. Um, but we're going to be taking the Maybelline Vivids lipstick in Brazen Berry number 905 and just put it on the lips. I absolutely love this color, especially for the summertime, and it's great for fall too. And I'm making messes like crazy. And then in the center of my lips, I'm going to take Berry M's lipstick in number, let me see here, number 129, which is a beautiful lilac shade just to make it more of an ombre lip. And that's what that looks like with those lips. And then if you are into the more matte lips, I'm going to show you how to uh, make this into a matte look without having to buy matte purple lipsticks. And I'm just taking my setting powder. This is the Airspun Loose Face Powder, but anything that's a translucent powder will make any lip color into a matte lip. So matte lip finish. So that's what that looks like with this. Absolutely love it. And here are some bloopers, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys. Okay, I just
did do Chewbacca, what am I saying? And he sounded like just like Chewbacca when he like did that little cry. And I tried to do it so I would be like, 